Hello everyone, this is Crystal Putta from Prayerful Arts. And I want to talk about an event I recently attended called Putter, and that was in uh, Berea, Ohio, which is near Cleveland. I took a couple classes, and one of them I took was on a Hutzel design taught by Amelia Red Radnich. And Amelia, if I pronounced your name wrong, I'm very sorry. I did this pisanka in that class. I didn't finish it in the class, but I she taught us how to draw the pattern, gave us some history on it, some very nice handouts. If anyone has ever has the opportunity to take a class from Amelia, I would highly recommend it. She's a great teacher. Anyway, so she talked about Hutzel designs and how they're very intricate. Now, this one was on an egg that was kind of a bluish green color. And normally the Hutzel eggs are yellow, red, a little bit of green, black. But because this one had this greenish tint to it, we decided um, to, that I sh should try some non-traditional colors. So this was the egg that I did in the class. And one of the things she taught us in there was how to draw uh, diamonds on a curved surface. So I'm going to demonstrate that on this egg that I have been working on that is a goose egg. So a little bit bigger. Um, but I'm going to go through how how we created this band. And, and actually, this process works for any type of diamond. You can see there's a big diamond here. We kind of did that the same way as we did these. So we measured it out. We drew an area that looked like it was square. For me, using just my eye to kind of do it. I didn't really measure. I did divide it initially into eight sections, and that was all I measured. The rest of it I did just by um, eyeballing it, which is what she kind of encourages you to do, which is really different for me, but I enjoyed it. Uh, this one I've measured more. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we're going to do these diamonds here on this, and it'll be a little bit easier to see it too. So what I'm going to do for starters is I'm going to I'm going to divide this band and I'll do the same thing here as I do down here. But what I'm going to do is divide it into what looks like about a square. And I'm going to draw this kind of lightly cuz I don't really want the the, the line showing up later. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go around it and divide it like that. And I'm not worried about if it lines up with what was there or not. But I do want to make sure that I end up OK. OK, let's see. Nope, that's not where I started. I should have get better track where I started. Okay, I think that is where I started. Okay, so I have kind of divided these into even sections. Again, you could measure them if you wanted to. For this, I'm going to try to just, I'm just trying to kind of eyeball it a little bit. Let me make that one a little bigger. All right, so I've done that. Now what I'm going to do is kind of draw a line that goes through the center of these. And again, um, I could measure this. But in a, and, and kind of the way that Amelia teaches is the smaller the space, the easier it is for you to um, make it square, we'll say. Okay. And this egg is a, uh, was a, uh, obviously a white goose egg that um, I waxed the white part and then I dyed it in um, yellow, Ukrainian gift shop yellow, and then Ukrainian gift shop gold, because I wanted a deeper gold, but because the gold doesn't have vinegar, I put it in the yellow first. Okay, so now I'm switching colored pencils. This was just a regular pencil. This is a blue one. And each one of these sections, I'm going to divide in half. Again, I could have done, I could have done that part and then drawn the line. Really doesn't matter. And I really didn't count how many there were. I probably should have done that. I'll do that when I wax it. Okay. 
Okay, we're almost to where I ran. Yeah, and she really recommended that you use two different colored pencils. All right, so I have all these drawn. Now we're ready to start the waxing part. And we're going to do that and, and do these. And I'm going to show you on paper kind of how this works and then how, how we're going to put it on the egg. Isn't this cute? I, this is one of the things I got in my goodie bag at uh, Potter. And this is from... Haley Rohaley, and it's got these cute little eggs on the front, and it's got these dotted papers in here. So if we pretend that we have, um, this, is, this has dots, and I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to pretend that this is our row. Okay, so this is this this space here, and then um, I divided it like that, and then I divided it like this, and then I came back with, and do I have another colored pencil here? Let's see. I think this is pink. What oh, is? Okay, cool. So then I, I did that. Now here's the reason why I did two different colors. On a flat surface, it's pretty easy to draw this diamond because it's all flat, you know, and they all, they, all look, they all look really nice because it's all even, it's all flat, it's all beautiful. Wasn't that easy? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw diamonds around it. And if you noticed, I drew each diamond individually. Then what I'm going to do is after I draw one set all around, I'm going to come back and draw another set. Again, I'm drawing each one individually. And then I, I'll have these interlocking diamonds. Now, you know, on a flat surface, you can you can draw all of them like this, and then you can, or or you can, you know, you can do it like that, and then come back and do it like that, and that works okay on a flat surface. But when you're doing it on an egg, you've got to deal with the curvature of the egg. That's why it you get really much better diamond-shaped diamonds if you draw each one individually. So let's get started waxing these diamonds. All right, so I am going to use my Luba's Electric with the fine tip and this blue wax I have from Ukrainian Accessories. Now I did not get all of the previous wax out of it. So I'm hoping you can see it as I start to work on this. So I am going to use the lines I've drawn as the points where I'm going to make the diamonds. And if it helps, you can put a little dot. So you could put like a little dot here and a little dot here and here and here. And this is not flowing. Okay, let me fix that. Okay, it had an air bubble in it because when it popped, then the level of wax went down. So I'm going to fill it up a little bit more. All right, now we'll give this another try. Okay, so we're going to draw a line. We're going to draw the diamond, one diamond. Right like that. And then... Uh, and then we're going to do the next one that connects to it. And one of the great things about the Hutzel designs is that there's so much going on in them. They're very, you know, I'm going to call them busy designs. But because there's so much going on in them, if you have a little 
line that's a little wobbly or something, you're probably not even going to notice it. And you can see when I do the wax, I tend usually to draw away from me, especially um, if it's a long line. Okay, I'll finish these and then I'll show you what I do next. I'm ready to do the last of the first set of diamonds. Last of the first, and they're all going to connect. So I have this row of diamonds going all the way around the egg. And now I'm going to add a second set of diamonds. And I, I'm going to use these lines that are in between to do that. And it should touch right above that point. I can kind of use that as my guide to help me keep them lined up. Right like that. So there's one, and now we'll do another one. So th this point where th the first row connected, I'm trying to make that right above it as best I can, as best it lines up, and then I do that. So we'll do that. So it looks, you know, when you see that, you think, wow, that's really complicated. I can't do it. It's really just two sets of diamonds on top of one, on top of the other. What I would say is go slow, you know, draw it out on paper first, go slow. And you can do this. Just little, little lines all the way around. Okay, let me finish that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Oh, I'm, I'm getting ready to connect the last one and I, I started to draw it and forgot to show you, but there. Okay, so now I have all of these going all the way around it, connected. And they look pretty awesome. All right. So uh, now I'm going to repeat and do the same thing on the bottom. I meant to count how many there were here, and I forgot. And anyway, I'm going to try to count them now, but we'll see what happens. Um, the reason being, on this one, um, every so often I did this little green dot in here, and then the rest was this purple color. Um, so I'll probably do a little green, and then I think the rest was going to be red. But anyway, um, and I have a lot more yellow that I want to wax, uh, still wax some more yellow on this. And I, I'm going to keep doing that. But mainly today, I just wanted to show you how you can draw some pretty awesome looking diamonds. When I get this done, I'll come back and show you the finished egg. All right, I'm back. And you can see by my colorful workspace, I have been working on... Uh, this egg. So this was the egg I did in the class, the Hutzel egg. This is a picture of the pattern that was given to us. So this was the picture that Amelia gave to us and, and then a detailed pattern on um, kind of how to do this. And so that's what I did on the chicken egg. And what we worked on was doing these little diamonds up here and seeing how, how do we make nice diamonds? And I showed you on the goose egg and I have now completely waxed it. And there are my beautiful diamonds. And I think they turned out pretty good. I mean, if I look at it closely, yeah, some are a little bigger than others, but all in all, it looks uh, pretty good, at least in my opinion. And just another little tip. I still have to varnish this yet. But in the picture, the original pattern, the background was black. And that is really what I intended to do with this one. The egg had been dyed in Ukrainian gift shop red. That was the last color and the egg was all red. I, I used um, a, a paintbrush to do the green area. 
and then I dyed it red. And then I, I made it a little darker in here for this tree trunk. But so what I wanted to do next was make it black. And a lot of times when an egg is red and you put it in black, the black has a hard time covering the red. So what I like to do is put it in a green color. And in this case, I put it in the Pisanchius A asparagus. And I got this gorgeous deep brown. And I looked at it and looked at it and I decided, you know what? I like that brown. So I left it brown. I could have done it black. But anyway, I am really excited about learning um, these diamonds and the Setzel design. And I hope you enjoyed um, the process and, and seeing how we did the diamonds. So I hope you'll join me next week when I'm going to have another new project I'm going to start. We're going to see how that works.